wanted to talk a little bit about your power or your masculine strength. What makes you attractive to, to women, to your wife, to other people? How they want to spend time with, how they trust you, how they want to open up to you and share things with you and trust you to lead them. And what's underlying that? Your belief in yourself, your belief in who you are, your belief in your intentions, even knowing what that stuff is, knowing what what it means for you. A lot of the messages that we get growing up and in society, and we, we end up learning how to be tentative. And, in, and tentative is the worst place to be in your relationship if you want to create connection, if you want to create intimacy. Tentative, it, it creates uncertainty, it creates confusion, it creates even anxiety in the other person when you're being tentative. We're looking for permission, we're looking for approval first before we choose how we're going to move forward and decide how we're going to create the opportunity or, or lead the moment into something that we actually want. We don't have that confidence and we talk about this as masculine confidence or masculine strength um, and really this just comes down to belief in yourself, knowing that your intention comes from a good place and so when we're talking about things like putting other people first or wanting other people to be happy, you know, happy wife, happy life. Well, if your intention is that somebody else enjoy themselves when they're spending time with you, that you have a connection that is fun and flirty and exciting, and you create an opportunity for some kind of deeper connection, well, that's a really good intention. So believe in that intention, trust in that intention. The problem is, is that we go in with an initial intention, but we're tentative and we look for that approval, we look for that in initial feedback that says somebody else is is available to that and we then allow that feedback to determine who we are and what it is that we have to give in that moment and in actual fact you just have to trust that your intention is good that you have stuff to give and that you are creating an opportunity for something good to happen we get guys to really understand how their quality of intention how their quality of presence how their quality of desire and how they're trying to lead or create opportunities in each moment is changing and weakening and how they're backing out from things and, and how they can be much more confident in that. What is stopping you from playing full out and loving the way that you want to and creating opportunities for intimacy exactly how you want them to be? What is stopping you from doing that? Because really, it's, it's us. We're the one that's getting in the way of our own ability to create the fun and excitement and flirtation and connection that we want. You have some amazing gifts that other people want to receive from you. Your desire, your attention, your intention, your fun, your strength, all of that stuff is stuff people love to receive from you. So let's practice that. Let's get you clear on that. And then from that place when you recognize, actually, I, yeah, I am a great man. I have got a lot to give. Well, then now you start to have a lot more fun and a lot, be a lot more deliberate and a lot more confident and that completely changes your masculine energy, your masculine strength. The strength that she feels from you in your emotions and how you're able to lead her.